Over the years, there have been hundreds, perhaps thousands of Bigfoot sightings all across the Rocky Mountain states. One of the most intriguing took place in southeastern Idaho, near Oxford Peak. The witness, Clint Josephson. The date, Labor Day weekend, 1980. Today, our team meets up with Josephson, prepared to revisit the exact location of the sighting. Our journey begins with a four-mile trek up the mountain, retracing the steps of Josephson and his friend, Brian Belknap. Their objective that morning was gold, a day of prospecting that might bring a few dollars. But almost immediately, things seemed a bit odd. First, their horses were unusually skittish. Then there was the scream, an eerie, non-human sound. And when they arrived at this clearing, they saw something that just didn't make sense. We got to here. Uh, there had been about eight to 10 logs, uh, probably 25 to 30 feet long, maybe a little longer than that. But they were all laying in one direction. Uh, when we got here, the logs no longer existed. They were just pulverized. They'd just been shredded. And we took it for granted that a bunch of bears or a bear had been in here and grubbing the, uh, the grubs out of these logs because they were just shredded, just tore to pieces and it was just like sawdust all over the ground. And uh, we tried and tried and tried to even get off the horses and lead them through to get over to the trail that goes up the hillside over here, and they refused to go. They got really super nervous in this area. Josephson and Belknap continued up the mountain, still determined to find gold. Josephson was sluicing in the creek while Belknap was gathering tailings a short distance away. Then Belknap saw something moving on the mountainside. Belknap lost sight of whatever it was, and the two rushed to leave the area immediately. Josephson assumed his friend had seen a bear, but that perception didn't last long. As I was sluicing, Brian uh, came over to the fence and yelled down to me, Josephson, let's get the hell out of here. So I hurried and grabbed the sluice box and pulled the, the burlap out of it and, and prepped it to take off. By that time, he was down here. We loaded everything onto the horses. Um, the mare was the calm horse of the two, and so Brian rode it because he wasn't very used to riding horseback. I had the green broke colt, and he was really flighty. And so uh, I had to hand my shovel and stuff to Brian. He took the shovels and started across the creek. I got on my horse and started to go, and it decided it wanted to drink and it stopped and put its nose down in the water, was getting a drink, and I felt like something was looking at me. I turned and looked over my shoulder, and as I did, coming right down this open area right here where these deadfall are now, uh, is where I saw Bigfoot. Anyhow, he came towards me. Uh, as he got closer, I could see that he had that burr stuck in his hair on his chest. He had a smear of something on his, on his face, whether it was blood or or could have been fruit or anything that they'd been eating around this area. And uh, he just kept walking towards me. And I was in shock and just sat there and watched him for quite a while, I don't know how long, but long enough for him to get fairly close. And I finally was yanking on my horse and kicking him, trying to make him go. And as he got within about 20 feet of me, the horse apparently smelled him. And that's about the same time I smelled him. And it was a very putrid odor. And the horse didn't bother him to raise his head, he just took a lunge and <laughs> went across the creek. And meanwhile, at that time, I had yelled to Belknap, we gotta get out of here, and he had seen my face for just a, just a brief second through the, through the shrubbery, and he said that my face was just white. So obviously I was in shock, and he knew that I'd seen something serious because of the way I yelled to him to get out of here. Those people that are disbelievers, I would, I would just say, you know, you, you can have your beliefs, that's up to you. Um, what I saw, I saw. Is Josephson's account credible? Our team was convinced he saw something. Later, we'll return to Oxford Peak to check out his story, verify his claims, and search out the creature Clint Josephson says he encountered. Clint Josephson is not alone. He's just one of a long line of people who claim to have seen the creature we call Bigfoot.